From a technical point of view, um, WalkMe consists of three key parts. On one side, you have the WalkMe editor that we use to create WalkMe content. On the other side, we have the application overlay that is an overlay over the underlying application that will display the guidance uh, and the WalkMe content to the end users. And the third aspect is the insights or the analytics part. So what is the WalkMe editor? The WalkMe editor is an application that WalkMe builders or content creators install locally on their computer. Um, it's using uh, an editor browser extension to connect the editor to the underlying application, to your in-house application or to Salesforce or Workday, whatever software application that you have for which you want to build training or end users content. Um, with the WalkMe editor, the content creator or what we call the WalkMe builder can build different uh, content items. It can be uh, smart walkthroughs for process guidance to guide users step by step through the application. It can be visual clues like smart tips uh, or launchers, or it can be uh, things like shout outs to uh, announce a new process or there's a new release and there are changes or you can uh, create for example surveys to get feedback on your application or to uh, request where more support is required. You can also use onboarding tasks to give guidance to users or leverage an action bot um, for, for chat and action-based help. So that are all kinds of things you can create with the editor. Um, if you have any existing training content or support content, you don't need to throw it away, but you can easily integrate it uh, by using uh, the resources functionality within WalkMe. So that way uh, you can integrate your existing videos, PDFs, user guides, presentations, and so on, all in WalkMe. And that way, the end user um, has always all the help, either from WalkMe or existing, at his fingertips while he is using the application. So, once we have all the content, um, how does it work from an end user perspective? So there, no real software installation is required. If you as a customer have access to the application code, to the HTML code, you can simply uh, embed WalkMe there. So that's a small piece of code that you embed in your application. If you don't have access to the application code, like what's the case for many uh, SaaS solutions like Salesforce, SuccessFactors, Workday, um, WalkMe works with uh, an end user browser extension. So that browser extension can easily be packaged and deployed via the software distribution tool of your IT department. So all your users have the browser extension installed uh, centrally. And then what happens is once WalkMe is active, once the browser extension is installed, WalkMe will know where your end user is. So which application is he using? Is he now using Salesforce? Is he now using Oracle? Is he now using SAP? Is he using Microsoft? So WalkMe will know this. He will know what is the, the role of the user, what's the preferred language of the user, uh, and based on that, WalkMe will know which content uh, to show. So WalkMe will know, okay, I'm now in the create contact process for Salesforce. Um, then we have this guidance, we have these smart tips and so on. So that will really be presented as an overlay over the application. So also no integration needed with the underlying uh, software platform. Then the third component, like we said, is the insights, um, which is a very powerful analytics component. Um, of course, uh, this is fully uh, GDPR compliant uh, and can also be configured according to, uh, to your requirements. It can track the end user interaction and we can decide there, do we only want to track the interaction with WalkMe content 
or do we also track the, the user behavior in the application itself? So which buttons are being clicked on, which processes are being used, so that we can all define uh, in the analytics, in the insights. So based on this, you can really see uh, what content is working, which processes are being used, where do your users need additional support, what are they looking for, um, where are often error messages being displayed, uh, and all this will help to really drive the digital adoption further. So it's always about how can we help the users, how can we help your customers, your suppliers, your employees, use your application in a better uh, and more efficient way. Um, like what we said before, of course, all this can be anonymized um, if needed. So if you want to learn more, just let me know and I'm happy to talk to you.